Checkboxes in Google Sheets. How can we integrate those checkboxes within our workbook? We can use conditional formatting to change the layout and the design of the checkbox and everything that is around it. And we can also use, let's say, a counting system to count all those checkboxes. There are market and the blank checkboxes too. So instead of just having a basic knowledge of how to use the checkboxes here in Google Sheets with a practical example, we also want to see how can we integrate those checkboxes within our environment, within our workbook. Let's start placing the checkboxes where we're going to need to use them. So I want you to start selecting the range that I'm going to use, but you can either select a specific cell or a range like this one. And then I'm going to click here, insert, and then checkbox. Basically, we're done because the checkbox are, the checkboxes are already working. So if you, you click in any checkbox, you can see that it's going to be automatically updated with this OK flag or with this, it's going to be marked. Let's choose here the, the tasks that I already done, such as phone calls, documentation, and uh, also here travel arrangements. Uh, okay, now with those three checkbox marked, I want to integrate the functionalities of the checkboxes within this workbook. So whenever I select, I market a checkbox, I want to have here a system to count all those checkboxes that I market, for example. So how can I create a counting system here in Google Sheets? Let's start with the most simplest thing that is just to type in here, tasks to do. And I also want to count tasks done. Let's start with the tasks done. And if you pay attention here, whenever you click in a cell where you, that uh, contains the checkbox market, you can see here through the formula bar that uh, the result is equal to true. And whenever you select a blank checkbox, the result is going to be equal to false. Knowing those two different criteria, we can use them in, the, in our counting system. Because if we use here the equal sign count if function, the count if function can count if a certain criteria is met, for example. And we can use true or false to count those checkboxes. So let's stick with, here with the count if. Click just once. And uh, the first argument that I need to input is the range. And I can either select specific cells, just a small range, or I can select the entire column B. I think it's a smarter way to select everything because let's say tomorrow or later on, you're going to need to add new rows. All those new rows with those new checkboxes that you can input here into your spreadsheet is going to already be in the, the range that you selected because they're going to be part of the, the column B. So the entire column B is selected. Now I can press here, comma, and my criterion can be, let's say, if it's equal to true. That way I can count everything that is marked. I can close parentheses and then enter. As you can see, three is our result. And I, if I mark one more, let's say, take a look here in the number three, I'm going to just mark one more. And I, yeah, that's it. So it's automatically updated for me, showing now the number of checkboxes marked. Let me press here, Ctrl Z, to undo this action. And uh, tasks to do, equal sign, count if. Click here, the range. I'm going to select the entire column B. Choma, now I want to count everything that is equal to false. Close parentheses and then enter. Okay. Tasks to do is equal to 12. Tasks done is equal to 3. So that's it. This is the first thing that you can do, let's say, to integrate those checkboxes within our workbook. Another thing that I like, the, like a lot here is to use conditional formatting in Google Sheets to highlight those cells where we have the market checkbox or highlight the entire row. And uh, there is different ways to create this conditional formatting. So let's start here selecting the range that we need to use. And again, you can select the range where you currently contain everything, like this range that I selected here. But let's say I know that uh, this list is always, always being updated for me. So maybe tomorrow or next week, next month, I have more information added here. So I can now add, select more rows, such as those rows right here. Okay, so I can select a larger range. But I'm going to stick with just this range right here. And then I go to Format and then Conditional Formatting. As you can see, Google Sheets already is applied here some weird rules and uh, it's already being highlighted. Some, some cells are already being highlighted with this greenish color. But I want to change. I want to just highlight those cells, specific cells, where I have the market checkboxes. So I can go here to the right and I can use as the rules. I choose here 
text that contains the word true, for example. And as you can see here, now all the cells where I have the market checkboxes is going to be automatically highlighted with this greenish color. If you want to change the color, you can go here to formatting styles and choose another one. Simple as that. You can also put everything in bold, italic, and on and on. Okay, now uh, as you we already know now how to highlight a specific cell, let's move on and go a little bit further. How can I highlight the entire row that contains that market checkbox? It's not that simple to do it, but uh, it's when you learn it, it's going to be simple to do again. So the thing that I need to do here with the, the data selected here, let's say, I can move on here to the right. And instead of using a already rule that uh, Google Sheets has, I can create my own. So custom formula, custom formula. I'm going to select that option. And then I want to do something different here. Equal sign. And then I want to select the first cell where I have my first checkbox. But instead of just click over the cell, I can manually do it. It's the cell B2, okay? Cell B2, column B, row number two. Cell B2, where I have the first checkbox. Equal sign B2. But here it's very important to lock the reference of the column. So before the letter B, I'm going to input the dollar sign because that way I can lock the column B. I don't need to lock the row because I want to apply the same condition of formatting for all those the rows that I have. Row, the second row, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and on and on. And then every time this first cell and then all the other cells is equal to true, I want to highlight the entire row. So this is what, what it's going to look like. Now let's go even further and create another rule here uh, to highlight all those unmarked checkbox, all those checkboxes that are currently blank with, uh, let's say, a yellowish color. So I can click here, add another rule. And this one is going to be equal to false. And I want to use a yellowish color. Maybe this one right here. Or oh, sorry, it's not, I don't want to change the font color, but uh, actually the background of the cell. So yes, now it's correct. Let's click here, done. And then I can close this panel. And uh, yeah, this is how it's going to look like. Whenever I check a uh, checkbox, the entire row here is going to be automatically highlighted with this greenish color. But uh, when the checkbox is blank, it's going to be yellow. So this is how we can use checkboxes in Google Sheets with different practical examples. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, because every day has a new video. So I see you there.